Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time is not by me. It's actually by Zoe Griffiths. She's a member of the Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles team. She actually helped me set this up originally and she's got a fantastic puzzle involving the order of some cards. So for this puzzle, I hand you over to Zoe. Hello everybody, so I'm Zoe and I'm doing this week's Matt Parker's Maths Puzzle. Um, and the puzzle involves cards um, and it's about the patterns that we can see when we look at different arrangements of those cards. Uh, and so my warm-up puzzle, which is the submissible bit that you can, you can submit your answer to, um, involves just four cards. Uh, here we go. Um, and you can see my four cards are in order here, um, but they don't have to be, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap these two round. There we go. Uh, and now you can see in this permutation of the four cards um, that I've got a subset of three cards that are in ascending order. And you can see that more clearly if I cross this one out. Uh, so ace, which I'm going to say is a one. So we've got one and then three and then four and they're in ascending order. So I've got a subset of three cards in ascending order. That's not the only way to do this. I could instead cross out this card and you can see that the three cards remaining are in ascending order. Um, but the puzzle for you is that out of all of the 24 different permutations of those four cards, how many of those permutations don't have any three or four card subsets that are in ascending or descending order? So out of all the permutations, how many don't have any three or four card subsets that are in ascending or descending order? Now you might think there, there are no permutations that fit that criteria, um, and if you think that, then you can put zero, um, or you might think that it's a positive integer answer. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to do, it's up to you, but you've got to submit it on Think Maths as normal. So have a look in the links below. Um, go to the Think Maths website and submit your answer uh, by midnight UK time next week on Tuesday. Um, so that's the submittable bit, that's the warm up puzzle, but actually the puzzle I'd really like the answer to, the big puzzle, is a little bit different. So instead of using four cards, we're using 10 cards. And you can see these 10 cards below, so they're in order, so we've got a subset of 10 cards in ascending order. Uh, but that's going to change if I move things around a bit. So I'm going to swap these two cards, uh, and let's swap these two cards. Um, and now we can see that they're in ascending order until we get to that 5. So if we skip that 5, uh, and if we skip the 8, now we've got a subset of 8 cards in ascending order. Um, and the big question, the big puzzle for you is what's the largest size of subset of ascending or descending cards um, that must be contained by all of the permutations of these 10 cards? Um, and so, for example, this permutation, its largest subset um, is of eight cards, um, but that's quite large, so not very many permutations will have um, a subset of eight ascending or descending cards. And we can see that um, if we just, let's, let's just swap the first and the last, um, and then now that's not quite as good. Uh, we've got a subset of six ascending cards here. Um, so that's the puzzle for you. You could try with some cards, try some different permutations. I mean, I mean, you could try all 10 factorial uh, different permutations with cards. I advise that you don't, um, but that's the puzzle for you. So can you find the largest size of subset of ascending or descending cards um, that must be contained by all the permutations of those 10 cards? Um, and as always, please email in your thoughts, your proof, your solutions to matplus um, at standupmaths.com and you might be featured in the solution video. Um, and if you can go one step further and say, uh, what if it's n cards rather than 10 cards, that would be amazing. If you can generalize, uh, that would be great. So give us an email, tell us what you think. Um, and of course, don't forget the submissible part of the puzzle. So don't forget the warm up puzzle. Um, if you go to the link below, go to the Think Maths website and submit your answer to that. Otherwise, this has been the card order puzzle. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Happy puzzling.